Well, day two of the Republican National Convention is getting started this morning in Milwaukee with the theme of Make America safe once again. For a bird's eye view from an Illinois delegate, Aaron Del Mar joins me this morning. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning. So tell me, what is it like inside the convention so far? It's amazing. The uh, amount of energy is electrifying. Uh, the convention has been outstanding by any measure. Uh, we started out uh, coming out on Sunday for the welcome party, the red, white, and brew party. Um, we had Trace Adkins take the stage. Everyone had a great time. We started our first day of the convention yesterday, um, went through it all, Was uh, did a roll call for the delegation of Illinois. We were led by Congressman Mary Miller. Then we heard about the appointment of J.D. Vance as uh, our nominee for vice president. And then Donald Trump made an appearance last night. So it's been a fun-filled uh, two days. We're excited about today. We have a lot of conference uh, business to do um, as far as our platform and some other committees. But it's really raring and going. And I couldn't, uh, the Illinois delegation and the rest of the uh, Republican Party here at the convention are fully united uh, and excited about our opportunity for a win in November. You know, I want to get back to President Trump now. You know, we saw him for the first time last night, just 48 hours after an assassin tried to take his life. So what was it like in the convention hall when he stepped out on stage? Well, actually, he didn't go on stage yet. He stepped out of the, uh, the tunnelway, um, walked through the crowd. Um, you know, of course, he had a Secret Service detail, but then he, he came and he took a seat in the stands with the rest of us. Um, that was a, a huge statement um, of how he felt about, uh, you know, the security here at uh, the Pfizer Center and how he felt about us as his delegation. Um, he got a standing uh, applause, of course, but having uh, Donald Trump come to the convention and then having Lee Greenwood singing God Bless America, um, it was a really empowering and emotional time. Aaron, you mentioned it here. Republicans are trying to broadcast a message of unity at this convention. What does that really look like? I think it's not just unity, but it's also resilience. Um, our nominee for president was shot at less than you know 72 hours ago. Um, there's been a spectrum of emotions. We had you know, the first one, the shock, um, the concern and the fear um, of those that were getting that were at the uh, at the event that uh, you know were in danger. Our president was shot at. Then there was the emotion of pride of having the Secret Service and local law enforcement act very quickly, promptly, and diligently to secure the scene, protect the president, protect those around. Then there was a feeling of grief for those that the person that was killed there, um, just being a part of uh, the political process. It was even sad for the alleged shooter who lost uh, their life as well. Then it went to a little bit of anger. Like this is America. This is this is an American that got shot at just by uh, living part of their political rights. And so, you know, us as Republicans, we're not going to be deterred. We were excited to hear that the convention was still going to be on. There was some concern that it might have been canceled. But the second that we stepped uh, here in Milwaukee, everyone got united. Everyone was. I mean, if you look at the scenes, like you're showing, everyone was having a great time. Everyone just couldn't be prouder to be an American today. And we look forward to November's opportunity. Well, Aaron, thanks so much. We are so happy to have you with us. Uh, one of our Illinois delega delegates at the Republican National Convention. Enjoy your time there. Thank you.